Hello, it is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. I'm Chris Raymond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday puzzle, of course, so it means another fairly approachable puzzle with a theme, and I can see some some shaded squares in the cell, which is very exciting. I always, always enjoy seeing the evidence of the theme in that way. And this shaded edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Ryan Eaves, Connor O'Neill, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shullmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for bringing us this edition of the Daily Solve and for their generous ongoing support to make this series sustainable for me to produce. And thank you to everybody who has helped in that endeavor by backing the Patreon campaign um, at any level. I do very much appreciate it. And for doing so, you can get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. Benefactors also get the let's get the crosses. Um, let's check the crosses. Daily solve official mug, and uh, you can join that at Patreon.com/slash/DailySolve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. Again, thank you to all of my patrons, and you can join the channel or subscribe to the YouTube channel, I should say. Um, please do if you've been enjoying these videos and tell a friend. I haven't mentioned that recently. If you think you know somebody, why not recommend this series if you think you know somebody who might enjoy it. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server in the link in the description field underneath the video. Um, all right. And with that, I'm going to get on to the solve. This is another one of those days where I'm on a bit of a tight schedule. So we'll, fortunately, it's a Tuesday puzzle. So it should be fairly approachable. This crossword is constructed by Peter Coders. I think this is his third New York Times crossword, and it was edited, as always, by Will Short. So let's start solving. Go directly to blank. Order in Monopoly. Um, you can be told to go directly to jail in um, the board game Monopoly. Let's sort of solve the down and see if we can figure out what's going on with this. Treasury Secretary Yellen, Janet Yellen. It's a Treasury Secretary. So what does that say, Jan? Um, I mean, it could be the name Jan, but that would be sort of surprising given Janet is already the name. So it looks like the month of January. I wonder if one of these two will be the month of February. Oh, oh maybe it's not months because, oh no, it is, it is, it is. Because this is Vern of Sci-Fi and Jules Vern is July. Sorry, <laughs> the way I was thinking about that was, oh no, Ver, V-E-R, that's not a month, so never mind. But no, it's Jules Vern, the sci science fiction author. And so... Right, so this will be Feb something, air freshener brand, Febreze. Is that how you'd spell that? I would have ass assumed there was an E on the end. Maybe it's this way? Yeah, that must be how this is spelled. Anyway, I'm going to do the thing some people sometimes uh, exhort me to do, and I'm going to go through it. I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to write all of the theme answers in, and we'll just ignore the rest of it for now. So January, February, March, April, May... June, July, we have that, August, September, October, November, December. So there we go. Look at that. We've got quite a bit of fid fill already in the grid. And um, I don't know what the revealer will be yet about this, but presumably it will reference the months of the year. Or it might not. I mean, I suppose there might not be a revealer. We could just have this sort of ersatz calendar illustrated in the grid. Number of dice in Yahtzee. Um, it must be four. <laughs> no, no, no. It could be five. Could be five. Uh, well, what, let's see. Let's look at the downs. Paparazzi targets. Celebs or stars. No, it'll start with I or O. So icons? Maybe? Blissful place. An Eden. Okay, so it's not icons. That does seem sort of weird. Um, I don't know. Part of VIP. Very important person. So very. So it is five. Okay. They come before O's. N's and O's. So that's just the letters N and O. Um, uh, phonetically spelled out as in the alphabet. Uh, fencing partners are neighbors. So good neighbors, good fences make good neighbors, as they say. And whom you might ask to turn off the lights nowadays. Oh, Alexa, I suppose. Your, your personal assistant from one of the I don't remember which one Alexa is from, but one of those ones, <laughs> one of those robot helpers. Getting on in years, e.g. Aged? What is this? 
fall behind is to lag. Alan of Mer- Marriage Story. Alan Alda, the actor, was in Marriage Story. So getting on in years. Oh, I see. Right. Sorry. I didn't properly appreciate that getting on in years is in quotation marks. So it's not actually referring to the concept of getting on in years. It's referring to the phrase getting on in years, which is an example of an idiom. And that EG indicates it's an example of that, of the thing that the answer is, in this case, an idiom. Okay, prefix with skeleton is exoskeleton, and dishes steamed in corn husks are tamales. Boy, I haven't had a tamale in ages. I used to be able to get them on the street in San Francisco in the, in the Mission. Well, I'm sure you still can. I just don't live there anymore. Um, anyway, uh, what a jelly donut lacks. Lacks. What a jelly donut lacks. What on earth does that mean? Sorry, I don't see it. Airport of Paris, Orly Airport is uh, one of the one of the major Paris airports, along with uh, Charles de Gaulle. Oh, paparazzi targets idols. Right there, we go. There we go. Idols. So, I don't know, teen idols, for instance, or some other popular figure. Oh, a ju- does a jelly donut lack a hole? Right. I guess that's. I guess that's true. I hadn't had that pictured in my mind until just now, but I, I suppose it. It does, because it's filled with jelly, and a hole would make that quite difficult. Okay, candy from a head. So this is referring to Pez dispensers, the candy that is dispensed from molded plastic little heads above a, a, you know, receptacle, a sort of chamber of the candy. Okay, let's go back up to the top. Menacing eel. A moray eel, I suppose, is a menacing one. Why is a moray eel particularly menacing? It must just be, it must just be so. Um, Here we have a two-part clue. Blank trench, deepest place in the ten down. The Marianas Trench, the deepest place in the ocean? That seems vague. Like at least two angles of every triangle. Acute, yeah. Um, You could have, I suppose, could you have three acute angles in a triangle? Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah, yeah, you could. Or you could have two acute angles and a right angle, or two acute angles and an obtuse angle. Okay, seek office is to run for office. Wolfed down is eight something. And bow making wood is you wood. You hear about that sometimes. You wood made for long bows. Uh, um, Extend as wedding vows. You could renew wedding vows. This does look like ocean, I suppose. So deepest place in the ocean. I guess it just means in any in any ocean or in the sort of, you know, combined mega ocean, because they are all connected. Okay, by way of is via, and nickname for NFL Hall of Famer Green. Ooh, do not know that. Let's move on. Battle of Normandy City. Oh, is it Cain? 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 Ugh. <laughs> but during that one, Flying Geese Formation, a V, and mean something. I don't know. Spanish article, una, for one, um, feminine one, surname that's an anagram of no lie, um, O'Neill, looks like an anagram of, of no lie, and there might be other possibilities, but, oh, Mean Joe, Mean Joe Green, maybe, uh, deserves, earns, you, you've earned it, you deserve it, that sort of thing. If something takes effect, it sets in. So if it will take effect, it will set in. It's usually good to match that, the correct sort of tense, which I didn't do the first time. Okay, a post-coup group could be a junta, like a military uh, junta that has taken power after a, after ousting a government. So buddies could be pals and nothing to it. Easy. A bill worth 100 bones. Um, a, a C spot, C for a hundred, C spot. Is that um, name for a hundred dollar bill? That seems likely. Putting blank fight, putting up a fight, and a Chichen Itza builder would be a Mayan, so part of the Mayan civilization, Chichen Itza. And instrument played with a mallet, a gong is played with a mallet, a big, big symbol, and hockey great. Yaramir, possibly. Don't know. Unsurprisingly, I don't know. Um, 
Looks like it should be Yager or something. With Seven Day Across, 1997 film in which Peter Fonda plays a beekeeper. Oh, this, right. This is the one that I confused with something else. I confused, this is Uli's Gold, and I confused it with City Slickers 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold, maybe? Something like that, in a crossword, I don't know, a month or two ago. Um, I had to be corrected about that. So now I think I remember the correct title of this particular film. Rolling Contest Roller. Log, you could have a log rolling contest. Um, What about this? Exodus Follower, uh, the book of Leviticus in the Bible. I have to be honest, I wouldn't have known off the top of my head that Leviticus follows Exodus, but it just looked like it had to fit in the grid. New and unusual is novel. And a plastic brick is a Lego, or more accurately, a Lego brick. Um, as has come up in the puzzle before, I think enthusiasts don't like referring to the bricks themselves as, as Legos. Well, especially not Legos, but I think... I guess maybe they do refer to them as Lego. You have you have a pile of Lego. Maybe that's maybe that's allowed. I'm not sure. Curved molding in architecture is an ogie. And reveled in is something. Like a wanderer, nomadic, a nomadic tribe, for instance. A griner of Shark Tank. I've never actually seen Shark Tank. I know what it is. It's a a show in which people pitch business ideas, I think, but I'm not sure who is in it. Uh, reveled, and there are different national versions of it as well. Um, reveled in, gloried in, gloried in victory, for instance. There we go. Chain of Polynesian Islands. So the question mark here indicates a bit of punnery or wordplay. So that's indicating here we're not referring to an island chain, we're referring to a physical chain that might be present on a Polynesian, Polynesian island. And in this case, it's not a metal chain. It's a lay. It's a chain of flowers. So here we have, oh, I hadn't seen this clue yet. Photo filter for a retro look would be sepia, right? You could apply a sort of sepia tone to your photograph to make it look like an old monochromatic photograph. Okay, to give off is to emit, I don't know, an odor, for instance. So here we have Lori Griner of Shark Tank. All right, there we go. And I'm, I'm assuming that's correct. It looks correct. Outback bird is an emu and... Possible answer to, do you have to? I must, I must complete this crossword. Undemanding and well-paid as a job. That's a cushy job, you could say. If something is swanky, it's posh, maybe? And a brew pub, yeah, I think that's probably right. A brew pub offering in brief is an IPA. And pretentious is arty. You could say, yeah, that person's so arty. They're so pretentious. Interior designer's concern is decor. Don't think we saw that yet. And what did we, have we looked at these yet? No. Oh, that's interesting. I should have looked at this after I didn't know hockey great Yaramir. High in the sky is aloft. And to arrive at is to get to. Oh, it is. It is Yaramir Yager. Huh. Did I know that? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Um, <clears throat> what about this? Many, informally. Lotsa, or it uh, could be lata or lotsa, actually. So what about this? French for after is après, as in, you know, après ski, you might say. Have an après ski drink in the chalet. Many, and for, although that phrase is not actually used in the French language, I learned after years of <laughs> knowing it as a phrase, a borrowed phrase in the English language. Um, they don't use that in a skiing context in French. Anyway, many informally, lots of, and marine swimmer with a tail dorsal fin. Um, what is it? Why don't I see it? Cry in a game of tag. I'm it? Or you're it? I'm it? Hanny, uh, Hannah Barbera's blank doggy. I don't think I know this character, but I have to say it looks like Augie doggy just because that would rhyme. So that could be either G-Y- or I E A U G G looks very strange to me. So my suspicion is it would be A U G I E. Let's look at the cross. Well, right, that fits with it. So I'm it in a game of tag. And then Dios mio, you might say, uh, my God. Um, informal informant, a stoolie, a stool pigeon, someone who who uh, sings, who grasses to the police. Marine swimmer with a tail dorsal fin. 
right. What is this? Why don't I see it? A sailboat? Is it some kind of weird misdirection? I don't think so. Corporate money minder is a CFO, a chief financial officer. A sail... Ah, I can't see it. Most pop, most populous Caribbean country. Um, why don't I see this either? It's not Kits of St. Kitts. St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts. Um, it doesn't even fit. Anyway, it wouldn't be that country. It's too small. Um, that's annoying. Why can't I see it? Black Forest... Oh, Haiti. Nah. Incredibly obvious <laughs> in retrospect. Uh, anyway, Black Forest ham is a thing. And in the past, you could say three years in the past, three years ago, alternative to an Airbnb, perhaps an inn, a local inn, and one of the daughters in Despicable Me. Um, I've never seen Despicable Me, but this looks like the name Agnes. So I, s I suspect that's the case. Does that work with this? Marine swimmer with it. A tall dorsal fin. Oh, a sailfish. <laughs> Literally the easiest possible conclusion to a marine swimmer would be the word fish, and yet it didn't occur to me. Ah, and here is a revealer finally. It is the very last clue I saw. That's that's pretty good. Well, except for this one, I suppose. Ah, that's a shame. Duo times four is... Oh, I see. Right. I thought this was another language, but no, it's actually not, because I was thinking four looks very English. Um, it's a duo, which in English is a group of two. So a group of two times four is an octet, a group of eight. That's a clever sort of combination of a slightly different concept with how this usually works. And then any of 12 represented in this puzzle, shaded squares, is, of course, a month. And there we have it. That was the Tuesday crossword. A nice... A nice simple theme, we, uh, st we have strewn the months of the year throughout the grid, of course, in the proper order, and in fact, in neat rows, because we have them in rows 1, 5, uh, 7, and 10, and they, they all sort of line up vertically, if you see what I mean. So just, just uh, what, four rows there? Yeah. So a nice tidy, con and of course they line up vertically as well. So the whole thing is very, is very neat. Um, a nice tidy construction by Peter uh, Coters. I don't, I don't think there's any, I don't think it matters necessarily that this came out today. I'm just trying to think if there's anything special about today with respect to the calendar. I don't particularly think so, but uh, yeah, a, a nice solid theme. And I really haven't done that in a while. I don't think, haven't been able to enter that many cells right off the bat after seeing how the theme worked. And of course, because I'm trying to think which of these would be less of a tell. Honestly, most of these would be a pretty strong tell. Maybe mar less so. That's a, that's a more normal way to begin a word. Oct, maybe. May or my in this case. I mean, my because of mine. Yeah, I mean, the, the months of the year, the, the abbreviations are pretty distinctive. So it's, it's, yeah, if you got, I mean, certainly if you got two of these, you're, you're going to be on track to um, understand what's going on with the theme because the, there just aren't very many other things this could possibly mean, especially, and I didn't bother doing this, but especially if you counted them and saw there were 12 of them. Anyway, so that, that's fun for a Tuesday puzzle because you, you can just tear through the, the grid and get quite a few spare cells, um, not spare, quite a few important cells. So there we have it. That was the Tuesday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. And now let's review, let's review a couple of clues from yesterday's puzzle. I think we have exactly a couple. We have two. So Nicole Hicks points out, Eric Carl wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar, <laughs> which you sort of combined with Hungry Hungry Hippos, the game where levered hippos gobble up marbles. Uh, that, that, may, that may well be what my brain was subconsciously doing. What I must have said something like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Yeah, the very hungry caterpillar is what, is what I was looking for. Thank you, Nicole. And Monkey Flower explains that donkey, burrow, and ass all refer usually to the same animal, the domestic donkey. So there we go. I, was, I think I was speculating aloud that a burrow is maybe something else that's bred from a donkey or something like that. But no, all, this, all the same animal. Ass can also refer to the wild African ass, which is the ancestor species to the domestic donkey. A mule is a hybrid species. So the mule must have been what I was thinking of. I'm certain of that. A mule is a hybrid species created by breeding a male donkey with a female horse. A similar crossbreeding of a male horse and a female donkey is called a hinny. 
Because horses and donkeys have different, number of chromo- different numbers of chromosomes, mules and hennies are usually sterile. Uh, and there we go. That, those are the two uh, comments on clues from yesterday's puzzle. And that makes that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back tomorrow with the Wednesday puzzle, one of the midweek puzzles in which we take a little bit of a step up, perhaps, in difficulty. I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Thank you.